There is a major terrorist incident taking place in Moscow at this very moment. So I figured let's do a quick video and kind of recap where we're at. It is currently midnight in Moscow, which is about 5 p.m. Eastern time. And just to kind of backtrack, about three hours ago, according to videos, there were four men in camouflage who entered the Krikus or the Krokus Mall. This mall is kind of like... It's a concert venue, but also a mall at the same time, where at the very front of it, it's a mall you can walk through. At the end of it is a concert venue for a couple thousand people. There was a band who was supposed to be performing called Picnic. I know, kind of weird for a rock band. And um, these men had came in and just started pew-pewing everywhere. It's the way we have to say it here on TikTok and on YouTube without getting strikes. According to reports, they came through and started taking people out. Now, that has been verified. We've seen so many photos and videos of that happening, which I can't put on here, but I did put on my Twitter account at Joey Contino. In those videos, you can see these men first coming through, taking down all the glass, and then anyone standing in the way. There were people in corners where they took out and people sitting down that they took out before then entering the concert venue. These four men then went inside, taking out people inside there before making their way to the roof, at which they then put some kind of explosives or something on the roof, because as you can see, Krakus Mall right here, this is the sign itself, they exploded, and then it caught fire. The fire, at least at this moment, they're saying it's contained, but we're seeing pictures and videos in real time, and it does not look like it's contained at all. About a thousand first responders are outside. Russian special services had tried to go in. They're saying that they captured one person. There is a video going around showcasing a person being arrested, but it doesn't look like that person is something that belongs with this. It looks like it's just someone else. While all of this is going on, people inside were trying to evacuate. According to some of the videos uploaded from inside the place, people are saying that the emergency exits were completely locked down, which is very bizarre because many of these places, those are freely to go out. So for them to be locked is something else. Now, it is being said that this is a terrorist incident. And at the very beginning, at least the beginning of when this came out, that's what the Russian media was saying. But as things were going on, the Russian media kind of changed what they were saying a little bit to now there was a white bus that was found outside, small little mini bus with old Ukrainian plates. And you can kind of see that the Russian media is like trying to push that these were Ukrainians that were doing this. Now, they didn't publicly say that yet, but that's kind of where we're leading towards. Now, the Ukrainian officials kind of got in front of it right away, and they're like, no, 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 that's not what's going on. And they said that the Moscow shooting was a deliberate provocation by Putin's special services. And this isn't something new for Russia to do. They do this a lot. They like to say that something had happened, even though they're the ones who did it, or maybe they say they're going to do something or someone else was going to do something. And then it happens, and then they use that to springboard into something. They called that a false flag operation. We saw that back in 2002. We saw Russia try to do that about a year ago again here. They did this in Georgia and a couple other places. So we're at a point right now where that's what we're kind of leaning towards because Russia wants to be able to go deeper into Ukraine and fire more. And Putin doesn't really have support to do a mass mobilization. They need an event to take place, as we call it the Lusitania, because that's kind of what the U.S. kind of did back uh, during World War I. All that being said, the White House put out their own announcement stating that there is no indication whatsoever that Ukraine had any part to do with it. As you could tell, countries are getting in front of Ukraine just saying right now, there is no information. Now, the reason why the U.S. is able to verify that is because back on March 7th, they and the U.K. put out their own announcement stating that, hey, U.S. and U.K. citizens do not go to any public places, any large gatherings in Moscow because there is an immediate threat by extremists. And so many people are believing this is that said event they were warning people about, though that has not been confirmed. All that being said, we're a few hours away from when this started. 
Moscow is now telling people to shelter in place or go inside. There is a curfew, and so we're not really getting as many photos and videos from the scene as we were getting before. We do know that Russian special forces were making their way into the building. One person was arrested, and there's still a couple other people that are involved in this that are still out and about. There have been some videos of a guy walking around with an assault weapon. That has not been verified that he had anything to do with that, nor has that even been verified that it was even taken today. It's just right now, there's just so much going on, and we're really not getting any new updates since the only people to be updating us right now is the Russian government. When it comes to deaths, we've seen a lot of different numbers. Uh, at the beginning, it was verified to be 40. I've seen as high as 75. Some people said it's about 80. I'm going to stick to the 70 number because I've seen more people say 70 people have been taken out and over 150 people injured. So casualties are over 200 at this moment and it's expected to go up higher. It's about 40 to 50 different ambulances there. Some people were lifted via helicopter away from the scene and ultimately that's where we're at right now. Fire crews are still trying to put out the fire even though they said that the fire was out. That's they contradicted themselves just a little bit. And this is all happening in real time. I mean, thanks to social media and Telegram, we're able to see exactly what's going on. Like, as I'm talking to you right now, I am updating everything online to see what is coming in. And it's just one story after another. It's actually really interesting because, like, we're talking about them putting out the fire. And um, this is one section of the fire right now. It's probably hard to see. That is currently, yeah, you can't really see, but there it is. It's currently being put out, but it's the building is still on fire as of at least the time of this video, and that's by the main entrance sign. So maybe by now they actually are putting it out. Uh, a couple Russian sources, RT and a couple other places, have been showcasing, quote unquote, a photo of the terrorist, and this is the photo they're using. I don't know if we can actually see it with the green screen, uh, but this is the photo that they're showcasing. So... We, once again, really don't have much information. It's still ongoing. I'm going to keep you guys updated throughout the night with new updates. So whether you're watching us on TikTok at Joey Contino, whether you're on Twitter at Joey Contino, or if you're here on YouTube at Joey Contino News, please subscribe. As you know, I keep you guys updated on everything Ukraine because today was actually an insane day. Remember that Russia had sent 191 air targets into Ukraine, targeting mostly infrastructure, leaving about 1.4 million people without power or running water. And so I keep you guys updated all the time, multiple reports. We do about six to seven reports on TikTok. So make sure you follow us on there and then we do longer form videos or shorts here on YouTube. But I want to thank you for joining me. Once again, please subscribe, follow us. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.